Alright, what's going on Dana? Oh, the breeze feels so good. Basically, we just, <laughs> Odi almost just died. We were on our way to Portugal outside of Sevilla and got trapped in like bumper to bumper traffic for an hour and a half. And it was getting to the point where the little meter was getting into the, right about to hit the red zone, which means like Odi's engine could just like be kaput. So we decided to pull off now we're in this random ass highway. But I thought I would take this time to tell you why van life sucks. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, that's not totally true. I do love van life, but for the first three weeks, I downright was like, this sucks, and there were more tears shed than I would like to admit. All right, this is the situation. Our van is full of stuff, and we gotta oh. sleep in there tonight. First night in the van. <laughs> so this is my shower. Oh, I'm excited for bed though. Yeah, it's late. Good morning. Woo. First night in the van. <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> <laughs> I think we slept like three hours. <laughs> It's like kind of weird. It was nerve wracking. <laughs> yeah. And there was like cars coming into this parking lot in the middle of the night and like that kept waking, well not even waking me up, like rattling me. I wasn't really sleeping. Yeah, you it was sleep very much. so hot. Like, that was very holy long. moly. Like, wow. Yeah. I just like kept telling myself, it's like, you love camping, but you hate sleeping in a tent. You love camping, but you hate sleeping in a tent. But we made it to daytime. We made it to daytime. And now I feel much better. And today we're gonna organize everything. And I need to finish electrical. Yeah, hopefully we can turn on this fan. Turn on all the power. So then the water will work. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Big days. <laughs> that was so crazy. Basically, we moved into the van before it was done because our rental agreement ended and so we didn't have anywhere to stay, so we just had to suck it up and move into the van with all of our construction supplies and that was our biggest mistake. Honestly, having all of those things around us every morning and night, having to take them out again, put them back in and feeling like there was just no room to breathe. Our stuff didn't have homes and it was just utter chaos and so it's like if you're living in a tiny space and everything in it is chaotic, like obviously you are gonna feel really chaotic and I already sometimes don't do so well with change. So that was our number one mistake was moving in before things were done and we were living in a construction site. But number two, like on top of that, things that weren't done were like mission critical to feeling like you are living in a home. So we didn't have running water, we didn't have electricity, and we didn't have gas for our stove. And then when the water finally did start working, the pressure had built up in the system and the pipes were exploding and leaking, which was chaos. And it made us feel really bad because we were like worked so hard on this electrical system and the plumbing system and then for them to not both work and then not have internet to like try to troubleshoot it, we just kind of felt lost and it was definitely like a sad moment the day that we plugged in the power and we had thought it would be this magical thing and the lights would go on and everything would be fine. We have electricity, kind of. Oh, what a day. <laughs> we had electricity go on. Very exciting. Then the electricity went off. Then water went everywhere. Then we tried to fix that. And then the water pump short-circuited the whole van, turned off all the energy. And so tomorrow we will trouble, troubleshoot. <laughs> now we pack up. All right, so it has been brutally hot in Spain. So we are gonna try sleeping with the doors open tonight. But because down here we store all of the camera stuff and some other things, I'm going to attach a little lock. Dun -da -da. Now, we can lock away all of our fancy things. So Luke would even put the camera back here if he's brave. Go like this. And then it turns like that. And now this is locked. So granted, somebody could probably like break into it if they wanted because you just could like rip it. But the whole point is just so that I really thought it was too hot in the van and I wanted to sleep with these open 
so the air can come in, like camping, you know? And so we can open these up and then we have a bug net that we just bought that's our next thing to install. And Lou can put expensive things in here and they can be hidden and so we can sleep and if somebody breaks in at least we'll wake up <laughs> and we're gonna put a silent alarm in there yeah like one of these should i do it yeah ready mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so that should wake us up i think so where should i put this wherever you think is the best place to hang our new mosquito net probably off a stud right Yeah, no bugs gonna get me. I'm going in. Haha, <laughs> I'm in. This is a good plan. Yeah, but this is like not a system that's like very like practical. I also am like, can the mosquitoes get through these holes? I know, it seems too big. But I guess with their wings? Yeah, there's definitely little bugs that can get through. Yeah, but the big ones. I love it. Sleeping with the doors open tonight. Yeah, try out new things. Yeah. All right, the van is chaos again, oh. but there's one new development. Look at this. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> you just washed your face in our van. Little things, right? Oh. oh, don't cry. This is gonna be so nice to have water. The van was getting a little hard. <laughs> but we got gas today and water, and our lights are gonna work now. The guy who installed our gas was just like the most competent human being ever. Oh, he installed man. it in like 30 minutes and then he fixed, or like helped us fix the water pump, rewire it so it works, and the water filter. And we and didn't, he yeah. gave me a diagram on how to redo the lights so I can get these lights now so that they actually don't turn on in the middle of the night. So we gonna fix the van. Yeah, it's like we didn't sleep at all last night. Like we got attacked by mosquitoes again and just like really relieved. Good and the bad, right? It's like amazing day, terrible day, amazing day, terrible day. I'm so happy. This is just so impressive. Like, we can do dishes here. We've been having to like trek water like from a long way away, do dishes in a pot outside, like use our camping stove outside. It's like we were camping, but we didn't get to stay at a campsite with like bathrooms and showers. So it's just been like not a lot of showers and lots of like time spent doing things that shouldn't take so long. Yeah. I'm really happy. All right, let's Can we see this? Woohoo! Oh. oh. Now what? Now you hold it and then turn it to the side. Look at that. We got gas. Oh my gosh. And the good guy. <laughs> okay. This is like, we have a kitchen. We have a kitchen. We have a kitchen. We have a lot of craziness going on behind us, but we have a kitchen. This has been like the improvements week. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, it's like, I think we've been sleeping in the van for like almost a full month now. And it's just not, it's been like livable, like functional. We have a bed, we have a bathroom, but like, it's not been like a quality of life that like made me feel confident about like doing this for a few years. It yeah. was just like, wow, this is actually really hard. Yeah, just as an example of how hard it's in, it's only been 15 nights. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, well, it feels like a month. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But what do you think? It's, it's not hard. just me that says it's hard. It's hard. I didn't sleep at all last night. I have, like, so many yeah. all over. Yeah. Hmm. Van life.
but I not think... Not as easy as it looks. Yeah, I think it just my recommendation is don't move into your van until it's done. 100% done. Like, wait, make sure... I want to, like, make a full list of all the things that we forgot to do that you should do so that if somebody's doing it, they can have a checklist of, like, a lot of things that you just forget about or don't think about. And I'm excited. I mean, I think it's, like, within a week we'll be done, done, and in Portugal, living the dream. We've got like a lot of projects, babe. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, today and tomorrow. Ooh. Woo! And we have this beautiful spot. Mm -hmm. This is, I think, my favorite spot so far. Yeah. Look at that view. That's Gibraltar. That's a nudist beach. That's an abandoned house. And this is what a happy wife looks like. Yes, I'm very happy and now I can understand why people make van life look so easy. Because once things are working, it's amazing. <laughs> but we'll get them working and then we'll I guess really that's true. Thrive. Yeah, I'm excited. So I'm gonna sew. Alright, so the plan is to install that guy on this wall. Alright. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Do you like it? I love it. So now we'll put the cutting board over here somewhere. Look at that. And now Dana's gonna build like a little or so, like a little pouch down here so that this doesn't just bash against the wall. It'll kind of get like pouched in. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> and it's all fixed. Look at that. That is spectacular. Brand is good as new. Wow. You wanna see what I did? Yes. Take a look in there. Oh my god, babe, it looks amazing and it's so sturdy. I'll show them. Oh my god, super functional. We got a spot for our little super thing. The recycling has a hook. The trash has a home. The net is in. We are crushing life. Alright, we pause here. Ed Cartol podcast. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm learning about how to enjoy my every moment. Every moment is fun. And I agree. And this is a great one. You're learning from Eckhart Tolle, right? Yes, I am. Um, and this is, this our is first. first cooked meal in the van. Ta da! So we got a lentil coconut curry with tomatoes, onions, garlic, carrot. Look at this view! Can you look at this view though? It's beautiful. We'll leave the van, go swimming, let this cool down in here. First meal cooked in the van. Got to get the perfect bite. Mmm. That's so good. That was like the best curry ever. Oh yeah. Your wife is good in the kitchen. Alright. Okay. First time brushing our teeth in the van. Not in the van. With running water. 
inside the van. We've always had to do it outside. Oh, I thought you meant like since we got in the van, this is the first time we've brushed our teeth. It's like, blue. They're gonna think we're gross. <laughs> okay. Oh, we are kind of gross. We yeah. left water. We're conserving water and we don't yeah. Have to conserve it. Okay. Well, that. maybe they can't see that. Can they see that? <laughs> There's water in there, and we're saving it to do dishes tomorrow morning. So we are gross. I guess a little gross. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Historic moment. Do, do, do. Meow. Mm. It is much nicer to do it inside. Yeah, but what are we going to do with the spit, then? And I was just thinking that. I was like, oh man, my breakfast dishwashing water. Mm -hmm. Oh, do Scott sign? Do I waste that water? Yeah. Hello, what do we do? I think you gotta go outside and not waste the water, right? Alright, it's looking a little crazy in here once again. But that's because I'm installing this switch for our lights. So that's going to go in here. And I have to rewire all of the lights that were coming down and going towards the fuse box back this way so that they can go, and go into that. So that's going to look pretty good, I think. Got the panel in. Screwed in. Nothing works yet. I still need to connect it in the back chaos back here but everything is wired so I'm gonna pop in a fuse and see if our new system works. What's going on Dana? I said the little switch box turned on. What? Look at that. Can I press the button? Yeah. Which one? All right so there all of our lights are on here now. Okay do you know which one goes to which? Yeah so the first two are bed lights. Ready? Uh -huh. Dun da da da. Oh, Woo! Look at the kitchen. Wow. And then... Uh, Ooh! One, two, three, four. Wow. And our van... It's works. lit. It's lit. Our van is lit. What do you think of our construction day, Dana? I like it. I'm really proud of myself. I did a lot of things. So now we have this to hold it in place, but this to stop it from bouncing around when we're driving. We have a cover on the door. I mean, it was pretty ugly before, was so ugly that's before. really nice. And now I'm working on creating a platform for the sides of the bed so that the space between the mattress and the wall is solid, not slats, so that we can put stuff down there, like our water bottle and books and my journal. Cool. So it's been a big day. Should we go first one? Please. All right, first time using the inverter, for real. And we're gonna make a smoothie bowl. So we came back here, we don't have the wires yet to the kitchen run. Are you sure this is okay? This is going to be the most power intensive thing we've done so far. I think so. I mean, I did the math like a very long time ago, but... Okay. okay. We're going for it. Ready? Mm-hmm. Oh. Weird. What? It doesn't work. It doesn't work? No. Did you turn on like there's a little switch for each? Oh, no. You have to push in like the button? Oh. Oh, <laughs> phew. Okay. Take two. Ah! Okay, fluffy nice cream. Oh my god. Ah, it's so good. Babe, this is the best nice cream I've ever had. Really? Oh, you're gonna die. Okay, right. I'm gonna put it into bowls, right. make it pretty, and then let's have breakfast. Where do you want breakfast? In the shade, looking okay. at the ocean. Look at that. This is like a real moment, Lou. 
in the real moment. And we just checked the batteries and it didn't, it barely went down at all. I think the sun is just giving us so much energy right now. We can have them every day. I'm so excited. Power. Yeah, 100%. Mmm, whoa. Pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy to eat something cold in the bin. Right? Yeah. Wow. So refreshing. Mm -hmm. It's already so hot outside. Mm -hmm. This is like the nicest thing ever. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Want to enjoy now? Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. All right, our new curtain. I finished it. So, that so now down. we have an extension for if you want the door open. With magnets. Look at that. So we get shade in here. Wow. That's awesome, Dana. So cool. Isn't it nice? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, my backup plan was this. So in heavy wind conditions, you can do that. The main thing is that we edit in there, and so to keep it dark, we were closing the door, but then it turns into an oven. So with this, it's still dark, but you get a little air. And some weird looks from people. Huh? So I'm getting some weird looks from people coming back from the beach. <sighs> we got the bed slats on the side in, so that when we put the bed down, stuff's not gonna fall down there anymore. We got bug nets on that window, that window, that window. Dana did them all. Yeah. We got one in the bathroom. Bug net master. She's the bug net master. That one you are gonna be able to like roll down and back up so that if we want just nothing between us and the beach, we can roll it up. But the other ones are just gonna stay on. Yeah, so we just gotta put the bed back in and then renovations are coming to a close. I think Finally. they're done. Yeah. Are they done? It's looking very livable. We got yeah. the cutting board in nice. We got that in. We got the light switch over here. We got an extension on this door cover. We got extension cables for our stuff. What else did we do? Whew. And we did a lot of final touches at this beautiful beach. And that is right when van life stopped being so painful and difficult and felt like what the other YouTubers make it look like. Cause I feel like I had kind of envisioned this like beautiful life of like, not glamorous, but just like enjoying nature and all we were doing was like continually building and working on this van and sleeping in hot areas and getting eaten by mosquitoes. And yeah, it kind of was horrible. But now the tables have turned and we had a beautiful adventure yesterday and we spent a lot of time at a secluded beach the days before that and now we're back going back to Portugal where we're gonna meet up with my little brother and he actually rented a van so we're gonna do a little caravanning and Odie finally feels like a home and it's like a huge relief just to like actually be enjoying the life that I feel like I envisioned for two years and those first few weeks when I was like oh my god like I spent so much time to get here and like I don't even like it and then it made me feel really bad but now I'm really happy we did it because the hard work's paying off and we're done working on Odie. The construction is over. What else, Lou? Highway's moving again, so we're gonna take off. Whew. That was great. Is that better? I can't tell. There's a raging wildfire sweeping through the Algarve. You should get in the car and let's go.